Hey, what's up Paradise Crew? A couple months ago, Virgin Voyages reached out to us to see if we were interested in seeing their newest ship, the Scarlet Lady. Uh, we humbly accepted this offer and so the adventure to Genoa, Italy began. Now, what this video is today is an extended behind the scenes look at the adventure, raw, uncut, no cinematics. If you want that, go watch the Virgin Voyages first impressions video, you can click on that in the top right corner. Some of the clips are a little windy, and some areas we weren't allowed to film, but I hope you enjoy this extended video, and as always, see you all in paradise. What is up, Paradise Crew? We are at the airport in Tampa. We made it all the way through security. Um, we are about 30 minutes until we get to board our flight to Italy. Mm -hmm. Are you super excited? I can't. I still can't believe this is happening. Me either. <laughs> um, we needed a snack, so we stopped at Yogurtology. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to film it for you, but I didn't have enough hands. So I will show you what I have. I feel like this is the perfect pre-flight snack. Yeah. Look at this. Look how look at how massive his is. Mm. So you pay by the ounce, of course, and um, his was twice as much as mine. What was yours? Four something. Um, there's baklava in here. Oatmeal cream pie, cookie dough pieces, chocolate and peanut butter yogurt, and um, Reese's cups. So good. And then Colin has something very similar, but messier. I enjoy a little bit of chaos in my ice cream. Mmm, so good. <laughs> good morning, guys. <laughs> morning. It is um, 9 a.m. here in Frankfurt which means it's 3 a.m. back at home. Um, I can't say that I slept at all during the flight, but, yeah, that's right. but I was resting, so yeah. there was that. Um, I mean, I was comfortable. Definitely I Definitely the best flight I've been on. Could, yeah, I, I was comfortable, I just couldn't sleep, so. Um, we are um, in Terminal Z right now, and we have to make our way to Terminal B, but we have three hours here, so <laughs> we're just gonna take our time. Explore. Explore, yeah. maybe sleep a little bit. Um, before we head to Milan. So I just wanted to show you how much of a hot mess I look right now and um, let you know that the flight was great and we can't wait to get to Milan. We had dinner and breakfast oh my gosh, on the food, China. The food was so good on too. On China. I was really impressed. <laughs> so yeah, I could use that chicken stir fry again. Like I need to yeah, recreate had, like, that recipe for her regular life. It was like chicken teriyaki and rice and veggies for dinner and then the eggs this morning were really good. Yeah, I um, like that. Yeah, this, this is my first time in Germany. Unfortunately, we are not leaving the airport. Um, I would like to get some medicine though because I'm sure if you can't hear, I'm a little stuffed, a little, a little stuffy. Um, All right, let's, uh, let's, let's see what we can find here in the airport. Um, have you ever gone through customs and then they ask you, you know, what your final destination is. And then if it's for vacation or business and you just kind of like look at them like, I have no idea what you're talking about because it's technically three in the morning. That looks totally funny. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to answer these questions. He's like, what? What? Yelling at the guy. What? <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, and then we just got offered, or not offered, but we got asked if we wanted to win a car. So this airport is like pretty legit. There are cars all over the place and you can try to win a car. Come look at this car though. All right, let's go look at this car. Oh yeah, that's nice. Can I have it? My birthday's in three days. Can I have it, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay, this is like one of the largest airports I've ever been to. Oh my God. <laughs> it literally just keeps going. I was like, okay, A, B this way. All right, that's fine. It's like, oh. A, Z this way. Oh, where's B? Okay, well, now you have to go down like seven flights of stairs. Oh, okay. And then all the way down this long haul. So it is a good thing we have a long layover because I don't want to run through this. No, absolutely not. Because there, there are people running. So um, yeah, thank you Virgin for booking flights that make sense. And yeah, appreciate to, the love. We get to take our time. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, this, it literally just keeps going. <laughs> Keep going, tired, like its own little city here. And uh, unfortunately, not not that we can't physically walk, we're fine. But for all these people that are running, it is unfortunate. Ooh, it's mm, the lighting is really not good in here. Um, we we made it to Milan. Oh, this car is sweet though. And we are in the car. Um, we are about to head to Genoa. It's about two two and a half hour drive, mm -hmm. but. I think we're gonna be a little bit comfy. A little comfortable because so, this car is nice. Yeah, I'm look, I mean look. We got oh, plenty of space. Oh, here. we get a mint. Oh 
Or was that already? What? Water, plenty of leg room. Wipes. There's um this button here that sends the oil slick, and then that button there that shoots the banana peels, <laughs> and then you can shoot the red shell in the top right corner. You can let the roof back. You're funny. Okay, um, I really need a nap, so I'm hoping that I can sleep during this part. Because look at me. Hello, Paradise Crew. We made it to Genoa. I don't think I've talked to you since we've been here. Um, so we got to the room. It was so nice. Um, I really just wanted a shower. So I wanted to do that before I talked to you again because I know that I was looking a little rough and I was feeling a little rough. So um, we've already kind of lived in this space, but I wanted to show you um, our little itinerary for the weekend and then in like five minutes, we're going to meet everyone downstairs in the lobby to go to dinner. I'm still not used to the camera. The screen goes black. <laughs> if like you go t near it, not sure why it does that. Um, but it does. So this is what we have. So, a lovely bottle of Prosecco. Thank you for that. And here's our little sold out itinerary. So, um, dinner tonight, tomorrow, obviously the ceremony, and then we leave on Sunday. So short, way too short, but we are very, very excited to be here for this amount of time. Also, we got this little bag from Virgin Voyages and on it, it says, ship, ship, hooray. Let me show you what's inside. So inside is an actual piece of the ship. Isn't that really cool? We are now proud owners of a actual piece of the Scarlet Lady. And on the back, it has the hull number engraved on the back. So thank you guys. We will obviously cherish this forever. We might even make a little Christmas ornament out of it and put it on our tree. How cool is that? Okay, so um, I'm done rambling. We are going to go to dinner. We're going to meet up with everyone. I am sure you will be seeing that very soon. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Good morning, Paradise Crew. Today, we are still in Genoa, and we are going to go downstairs and get some breakfast before meeting everyone for the float out ceremony. Yes, and guys, in case you didn't know, this is our first float out, so we're rookies. We've never seen a ship like this being built for the first time in dry dock, so. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting for us. Um, last night we had a lovely dinner with the Virgin Voyages crew and we met some of our favorite YouTube vloggers, so that was really fun. Um, I didn't get a lot of that on film, mainly because it was just so loud in that restaurant and we were really enjoying ourselves. Mm -hmm. So um, I think Colin got some B-roll, mm -hmm. we got some photos, but other than that, um, we just kind of put the vlogging camera away and uh, had a good time. So there will be obviously more video for you today, so you'll get to see everybody and um, see the parts of the ship. Not that we're allowed to film. There's some spots where they said no cameras. And when the big corporation like this says no cameras, trust me, they have okay. the systems in place to where there are no cameras. Yes, so. but we will show you everything that we can. Um, and then from there, hopefully you guys get really excited and want to sail on the Scarlet Lady. Let's go get breakfast, we're hungry. I'm sure if you guys don't already know, the Italian food is marvelous. Um, an Italian breakfast is not um, anything short of amazing. So I got some protein, obviously, for the day, but obviously they also have brie and meat, um, croissants, oh my gosh, um, these Nutella. So, fun fact, I don't like Nutella um, that they sell in the States, but I love Nutella in Italy. So I got a couple of those packets mainly for me to snack on later, so I'm excited about that. And like mini panna cotta. I'm not sure why I did that. I just kind of dropped the camera. Um, so yeah, the Nutella, awesome. Um, and then mini panna cotta, and this juice is like um, broccoli and grape and something else. It's oddly refreshing. So um, it's some sort of detox something, and I was like, oh, I might as well do that while I'm here. Um, Colin went to go get some food and hopefully bring me back something else to drink because I am very parched. Um, we only have like 30 minutes before we have to meet everybody, but luckily it's just right down the hall. So um, it is gorgeous. I cannot believe this view that we have with breakfast. Um, I still can't believe that we are here in Italy. We're both very tired, if you can't tell. Definitely a little jet lag, but all totally worth it. Look at this view. Uh, we're officially on our way. So we're going, I guess we're gonna get on a bus or a van of some sort um, to, get, to get there. So in case we didn't um, get to mention this, 
before, there are only um, five influencers here. Um, there are five um, travel agents, is that what they said? The travel so. partners? Yeah, yeah, like and then um, everyone else is with Virgin. So that's really exciting. Some of them got to see the ship yesterday, um, the people from Virgin, because they did another ceremony. So I think they said yesterday was a ceremony for the actual workers, and today is a ceremony for us. So we obviously could not be more thrilled. And now I'm going to watch where I'm going because I can't see. But we will catch up with you guys at the ship here. All right, we just arrived here at the Fincantieri shipyard. Um, we are going to have lunch first and there's a presentation, but I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like. Um, Virgin really knows how to throw a party. So I'm hoping Colin's getting some great B-roll here because this is this is crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Hi, I got you this. <laughs> how do I look, guys? I look fashionable. <laughs> I'll put you up. So we just finished our lunch here, and we were about to take a tour of the ship. Um, a little sleepy because, you know, we just had a wonderful lunch of like pasta and desserts. But um, they gave us some espresso, so I think we'll be ready to go. Get our little hard hat. Oh, this is <laughs> way too big for my head. <laughs> let, me, let me adjust. And I'm ready to look at this thing. Let's try that. That's a little better. <laughs> no, it's still too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all, I'm not sure if I've ever told you this, but it's it's kind of been a dream of mine to be here, like at the Fincantieri shipyard, and to see a ship being built, and I cannot believe that we can see the ship right now, in the shipyard, it is, it's just so, so unreal to be right now. Yeah, it's kind of unbelievable. It's truly remarkable. Um, so we've split up into a bunch of smaller groups and uh, we get to see the ship firsthand. We are going to start at the top and work our way down and we will tell you um, and show you everything that we can. So they're going to tell us whenever we can film and take photos. So we will do as much as we can for you and hopefully, like I said before, you get really excited about the ship. And here she is for the very first time. Guys, here she is. For the very first time, the Scarlet Lady. Look how big and beautiful the ship is. Okay, so as we were told yesterday that they did have a ceremony for the workers um, and they did the float out part to the point where they actually brought the water in here. So she is floating on water currently. Take a look. Guys, it's very cool. Um, so I'm, I'm sad that we missed that part, but it, I'm sure it was very special for all the workers to see that for the very first time. They've been working so hard. Um, and during the speech earlier today, they said there were over 2,000 people working on the ship every single day. So that is in, that's incredible. Um, like we said before, it is an active construction site, which is why we have to wear the hard hats. But um, I think it's going to be very interesting seeing the insides of the ship before it is finished. We are about to get on the ship. We are, this group here is the first people, first group of people that have been invited to step on the ship for the very first time. Paradise crew, this is what we've been waiting for. We're doing it. The heart has a little little crooked here. There we go. Oh, so cold. <laughs> here we go. Hello. We did it. We have uh, crew cabins. We have a medical center, um, but it's mainly technical space. This area you're in right now is where the baggage is handled on board. So. Uh, most of the time the space is just uh, dead space, but when we're doing turnarounds, this is where we bring the bags on board and, and organize the bags before they go into the list of distribution. So they will let, so we've got lifts. They're enough. Anyone that's feeling energetic can obviously go up the stairs. Guys, look at this view. Okay, I'm 
not sure if you guys heard that, but she said this is where the longest sunbed at sea will be. So that just sounds glorious. <laughs> oh, look at this. And then obviously looking right out to sea as well. So those crazy, crazy people that will be brave enough to sit on this triple layered, triple layered catamaran net. <laughs> so, so there's a good, we've got a good chance to keep you. <laughs> triple layers. Dragamo. talking to some of the, the people from Virgin saying a, it would approximately be $30,000 to stay in this mega suite. Um, it's called the Massive Suite. Um, this is the one with the jacuzzi and the showers outside. Um, there's the music room. Um, if you've not seen the renderings of that yet, you need to check them out. We might even put them in this video to help you out. But um, they were also saying you can get like a rider. So you can essentially tell them anything that you want. Like if you're a vodka drinker, they will fill your bar with vodka, like all these, like literally anything you want you can request and um, it will be there for you during the duration of your cruise. So that is really cool and totally worth the price. Um, totally VIP treatment. But this is, I think they were saying that the outside here is about the same size as the inside. So that's <laughs> incredible. You have a lot of space to work with. You can have the privacy of your own suite and then, you know, obviously some space to host a party. So, you're a rock star. Been on it, yeah. Yeah, so I just need to make sure I'm giving you the right one. <laughs> the rock star suite. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we can we do, do that one Once too. we get outside, we can go through more. We're very good when you book this. Like, <laughs> so we're going forward. And this is... The massive suite. So they have two of these showers. Mirror images of each other. And they are. That's exciting. I can't wait. Main lounge area. And then outside, we're going to have the. Oh, this so is actually see action. that and what the frame of it is. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is like where. I don't know if you guys saw the seabed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that so looks really here. cool. Yeah. You get the L shape so it maximizes the space. Here's the wow. space. That's really neat. Thank you. Yeah, okay. yeah, and that's the thing. You can't think about that. Yeah, the shower, you have to shape with your hand. Yeah, there's yeah, the bathroom. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're definitely much bigger. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
you know, 11 o'clock in the morning, say I'll have a little Bloody Mary, and then, and then, <laughs> and then you look up and you realise it's five o'clock in the afternoon and you haven't moved for the whole day. How uh, great is that? That's the best day ever. <laughs> best week of your life. And you've just moved from, from, from a Bloody Mary to a beer. That's all you've done. <laughs> yes. We are signing the ship. <laughs> Our name will be under all of this wonderful stuff. Here. Oh, yeah. Still. Still. It'll be on this ship, yeah. Where do you want? Right here? Where you want me to write? Just our name? I was not filming any of this. Not even. We just signed the ship. Yes. <laughs> so it's official. We have pieces of the ship and we have signed the ship. We are part of history. We are part of the Scarlet yes. Lady forever. The Scarlet Lady, <laughs> the first ship. The version of this. Just can't get any better. I um, just can't wait to drink Mai Tais and hang out on deck here all day. You see what I'm saying? He meant like tonight. I was like, that's not happening. <laughs> what else? Did, oh, so we also got to tour the bridge. Um, obviously, we couldn't film in there, but it was really neat to, uh -huh. to see. Um, obviously, um, too, we just saw the cabins that you probably just saw. Yes. And that looks really cool. And I don't know if we talked about it before, but they were saying that the cabins are actually built and constructed off of the ship. And then they're brought up... Um, like from an elevator on the outside of the ship and, and like then attached and, and put on the ship's so. rest. Yeah, that's really awesome. Ooh. And these windows are sadly locked up. Obviously, have big views of the rolling way out of the back of the ship. So um, we have a little bit of a piano bar area here and then lots of, lots of seating. And on the, and then on the other side, we actually have a seafood bar as well. But almost, this is almost, this is our sort of nod to the classic um, restaurants on the sea and enjoying the sort of, the luxury that the great ocean liners enjoyed. So this is another um, Raymond Williams space. Our main yes, so this is going to be the, uh, the tattoo parlor, Squid Ink. So, um, Griff and Alyssa of Paradise Crew Tattoos coming, coming soon. soon. 2020. Someone once said to me was, you know, views are free, but you need to remind people to look at the view. So in our design, we've done lots of things to remind people to enjoy the fact they're at sea and to watch the waves and watch the sky. So basically, there's all a raised... Um, raised banquette in that area which is shown in the picture on the left hand side so you can sort of curl up in a, and it's all raised like hammam type heated seats and you can sort of crawl you know crawl up as a ball and just look out of the window and let time go by we have 11 treatment rooms back there, is that right what's the when they went up how many treatment rooms have we got? Uh, 15, 16. 16 treatment rooms. We have a mud, um, we have a mud room, we have a sauna, and salt room, and steam and as well. Um, and then we have and a couple of treatment rooms are couples treatment rooms as well. So it's a great spot. It, but, you know, that sort of modern sort of going and hanging out in the hammam and chatting to your friends. And very you no, know, so it's all sort of quiet and relaxed. <laughs> this is the famous Razzle Dazzle, without her Razzle and Dazzle at the moment. <laughs> but this is our sort of op open plan, very almost cantini um, in its feel. Because we all know there's times when you want to go to the place like the Wake and have a beautiful, sort of almost formal, indulgent meal and get dressed up. And there's times where you just want to hang out and be relaxed and have a great Caesar salad or something, something relaxed and easy like that. But this is the famous um, Razzle Dazzle restaurant, which as you know, the Razzle Dazzle print was inspired um, in the first World War, wasn't it, Giacomo, where they used to camouflage the yeah. ships. So you could, and the way they would paint the ship was before radar, so you wouldn't know if the ship was going forwards or backwards because of the, it was almost like a moire effect that they were creating across the ship. So this is a great big, nice big restaurant. Bottom of the ship, this is the 
area that's most developed. And literally, this is the plumbing for the bar and all the infrastructure that the bar will have. The bar is facing oh. that side. Yes. So I'm sitting at the bar. If I sat here, I'm sitting. All seating on this floor and around the perimeter of the floor above. And then that's why we've got a sort of slight theatre pit underneath and then the stage at the back. Um, and then once after the show, obviously the space is nice and warmed up, everything clears and then it goes into nightclub mode. But like any good nightclubs, as you can see, it's got lots of ins and outs. So you've got like our VIP sort of corner is there. We have a huge bar unit, which is beginning to be marked up on the floor behind you and the, the bar unit if you if you go around put if go around the, the bit of metal and we'll go around the bar or or limbo underneath it whatever your preference and this is sort of almost the sort of we have two sides okay. so so at certain times we can close half of it and then we can sort of make the party bigger by opening the other half. <laughs> And what we're looking at doing as part of the show is having places that are sort of revealed and opened. And it's much more like emergent theatre. But I'm not allowed to talk about that because it's been talked about in a few days' time. So hear don't hear anything until a few <laughs> days' time, okay? Um, very... And we're done. <laughs> what you do, D, you stay here or you come out? No, we're going. We're going. We're going to go back. You guys can escape. I think we're done. We'll go back. Well, we'll do a little recap once little we recap. Once right. are on our way back or once we get there. But that was cool. That was so awesome. I am just truly lost for words, to be honest with you. Which is hard for me to do. <laughs> Watch your step. Thank you. Another beautiful outside look of the ship. So cool. Okay guys, so it looks like the next time we will be walking on the Scarlet Lady, she will be done and even more beautiful than she already is. I cannot wait to see those spaces come to life. It was really, really cool to have those photos um, of, of the space and then walk around and try to like use our imagination to see what it's actually going to look like. Um, I love that about uh, Virgin. They're really trying to essentially go way out of the box and make cruising. Um, I mean, I, I don't even. I don't it's, even know. It's the really details. Cool. Yeah. She was told that even before designing the ship, they had to decide in advance, like three years prior, if they wanted to put in TVs and where they needed to put them because they needed the TV to be supported by the frame of the ship. Right. Like, it's nuts. Yeah, it's just something obviously we don't think about as we're cruising, you yeah. know, enjoying our vacations. Like, no, obviously a lot of work lot. and planning and thought goes into every little detail of the ship. So, um, so, so 